Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Patrice. Marshall. Melchior. Thank, Thank you. you. Please. Marshall Matthews LP1, th 13 years ago, now uh, a new opus, a new part. Um, what are the, the differences between the these two records? Um, well, the differences, I mean, some of the similarities uh, between uh, the Marshall Matthews LP2 and the first one, I think are, um, you know, there's it, it's kind of like a revisitation to this one is kind of like a revisitation to that. Um, so some of the subjects and themes are kind of revisited, but it's also kind of like a 213 or 2013 version of where I'm at now, where I'm at now. So um, in, the, in the first uh, one, Marshall Matters one, LP1, uh, your personal life inspired a lot of songs. Is it still the case in this, in this record? Your personal life, you said, inspired a lot yeah. of songs. A lot of songs in the, in the first album 13 years ago. Yeah. Is it still the case now? Well, my personal life definitely, I think, back then inspired uh, some of the themes and topics on the first on the first uh, Mathers LP. Um, this one is kind of, I think that some of it is is personal stuff. Some of it's a little more broad. Some of it's put in a way that, um, you know, hopefully everybody can relate, you know, to certain topics and things that are addressed on this album. So. That's the best way I could answer it. Okay. Um, there is a, a few uh, featuring duets with uh, uh, Rihanna, uh, Nate Rush uh, from uh, Fun. Yeah. Um, how did you decide to invite them on your record? Well, how do I answer this with the Nate Rouge one? Um, producer Neil Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, with the Rihanna one, you know, already kind of having a, a relationship with her as far as like doing Love the Way You Lie and then I've I've done things for her on her records or whatever. It just it, it seems like it made sense to me and I felt like she would really smash that chorus. Um and the Nate Rouge one, uh as far as that one is concerned, the headlight song, uh that was the way that was brought about was the producer Emil sent the beat to me with that hook on there already that Nate had laid. And it was kind of me interpreting his words and and what I felt like he meant, um, and bring it in into my own uh, life, I guess. Okay. Um, one question about Eight Mile um, and its uh, accompanying soundtrack, uh, where the tonight I'd like. I don't remember Eight Mile. At all. At all. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Parts of Eight Mile I don't remember, but. But Go ahead. Mind, yeah. okay. Go ahead. Ask the question. <laughs> Shoot. Um, what are uh, your thoughts when you look back uh, on uh, on this movie and on this period? On what, this movie and uh, on this movie. What What do you, do you remember? He said in this period. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Um, as far as what do I remember from the movie? Yes, the movie and, and, and this period of your career. I think that um, but it, the, the time period where I was doing the 8 Mile movie, I think I was doing a lot of other things. Um, the soundtrack, I think the Eminem show, I was recording at the same time, along with doing score to the movie and, you know, uh, being in the movie itself. Um, so I just remember everything was just, it was a lot, you know, and everything was, it, I was really busy at that time um, and not getting a lot of sleep. That's all I really remember. Okay. Uh, one question about uh, Rick Rudin. Um, how was this uh, collaboration um, in the studio and uh, it was serious, fun with it? 
Well, I'm sorry. Uh, how was it with Rick Rubin? Uh, was it uh, serious in a Oh, in how was it? Yeah, how was it? Yeah. Oh. Serious, fun, how was it? Recording with Rick was great. Re recording with Rick Rubin was great. Um, he's super laid back guy. Like he doesn't. It's kind of no pressure. Like I, I always like I felt pressure even meeting him. You know, I was a little nervous to meet him just because I'm a fan of his body of work and everything he's done over the years. But I thought that it was kind of going to be that way in the studio. But once I got settled in, it was a little. It, it wasn't what I expected. And it was, you know, we actually had fun making these records, so. The, the right producer and the right place for you for this album? Uh, definitely, I feel like uh, getting to work with Rick was, was the right thing to do at this time period. Uh, how did you get, get him to uh, appear in the Berserk video? Um, well, we got him to appear in the Berserk video by, we just asked him, and he said, yeah. Which is great, because I don't know, I don't know. It, it was an honor for him to do that, you know. Okay, uh, one last question about uh, um, the concert you, you, you made last August in Paris. Yeah. Um, how did you feel, uh, uh, how did you feel uh, about really meeting the French audience, French public, how was it? Re how'd I feel about? Uh, how, how did you feel the, the contact with French public last August? Oh. Doing the show here was great. The yeah. fans, you know, the crowd was crazy. Um, it was loud. Um, you know, it was great. Thank you. It was fun. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. That was easy. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Un, deux, un, 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 deux, trois, un, deux, un, deux, ça pas trop tapé.